all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well, the silence is deafening from YouTube channels. Uh, as you've probably seen my video the other day and other hardcore channels, UCTV, Ultratech Sports Raw, you know, the Boxing Asylum. Look, everybody in the industry knows that Dazone are in massive trouble, but I'm starting to think that nobody really wants to talk about it. Sky are not talking about it. Financial Times are, but let's have a look at these channels here. Sporting Icons. Is he talking about it? No. He's hammering Wilder. Anything Eddie Hearn says, he jumps on it and hammers it. Look how many videos Sporting Icons has put out about Wilder. Go to the right hand side of his channels, have a look. Look at all the channels that he associates himself with. Hmm. Good old Sporting Icons. <laughs> Hatman strikes back. Is he spike? Is he talking about it? These are boxing people. These, these are boxing lads who know the boxing, but they're not reporting on it. Why is that? Why are they not saying anything about it? Why is that? Is IFL saying anything? Let's have a look. Hmm. Hmm. IFL are not saying anything about the zone. What about Boxing Social? Let's have a look. All behind the gloves. Hmm, nope. Behind the gloves. How do you spell behind? B, B, uh, her. Is it E, no, I. <laughs> oh, let's see it somewhere. Man. They're not saying anything, so all these channels are not saying a word. Two of them, Atman Strikes Back and Sporting Icons, work from behind the camera, by the way. Uh, IFL Boxing Social, behind the gloves, they work in front of the camera, or Coogan mainly behind it, isn't he? but we know who he is. Uh, they're not saying a word. Nobody's saying, nobody's saying anything about what the Financial Times have, have mentioned in the newspaper and what people in industry are talking about uh, why is that now I've been told of somebody in the know that the budgets that these people have they look after certain people I'm not saying that all these are getting looked after but I think we know what's going on don't we but it's one of them things in it there's no we can do there's no we can do about it all we can do is just be real to ourselves but these people are not mentioning a dicky bird about it but they're mentioning other videos but they're repeating the same old stuff aren't they I mean look how many videos they're putting out here on Sporting Icons about Wilder it's unbelievable hammering Wilder non-stop but yet they're putting uh, Artman's putting out videos saying what's this Wilder's finished, Eddie Hearn says Wilder's finished, so Wilder, so Hatman runs with that. Wilder's finished, well, he's, had, he's had one defeat. Derek Chisora's had nine defeats and been knocked out several times, but yet he's the, he's the next big thing. Why aren't they mentioning that about Derek Chisora? They're not going to mention that other because they're in Matchroom's pocket all them lot, aren't they? That's why. Matchroom, they want to get Pool F out of the way, then they want... Chisora to beat Usek. Usek could even get jobbed on points now. Then they'll go for Chisora. Then Elenius. They'll go down the mandatory route. That's what they'll do. I don't even think they want the Tyson Fury fight at match, you know, to be honest. I don't even think they want it. And I don't think Aram does, to be honest. They want to keep him earning, don't they? But it is what it is, isn't it? Tyson Fury is a big favourite against Joshua, but would he get a fair shake if it went to points? I don't know, I don't know, but peace out, a big shout out to Jim Pye security, alright, peace.